All right, everyone, I have something unfortunate to show you. Um, sadly, I'm gonna open my car here. There's a butterfly. Does something look wrong here? Yep. Unfortunately, I was going to adjust my mirror earlier, and this happened. How? I don't know. There's a little... I think it was glued on here. I don't think that that's factory. I think it was put on a different way from the factory. But, unfortunately, I went to adjust it, and, you know, it's supposed to sit up like that, but nope. Now it's just hanging by the wire, which is actually electrical taped in, so that might not be factory. Crap. I mean, the lights still work. You'll see when I close the door. They dim. Then they'll go off. My lights dim. Then they slowly... Once you turn the lights out, they slowly fade off. We'll open it. But I'll show you. If we see they dimmed. Let me get the key. I believe if you... Yeah. Turning it on shuts the lights off, but then when you turn it off... Oh no. Doesn't do that. You gotta open the door for it to turn on. Okay. But yeah, uh, unfortunately... We've had a mirror fail. Although, this is not an uncommon piece to fail. And no, it's not. This thing doesn't weigh anything. It's not because of that. That sucks. So this car is going to sit dormant until we fix that. But uh, I'm going to get some glue tonight. Probably go to Walmart and get some because you need special glue for that. Uh, but I'm not calling that a terrible fail. I mean, it's... I don't want to jinx anything, but it's not like the steering wheel came off or something. Um, that's a fix that's easily fixable, just with some glue, and that's a very common thing to go wrong on cars. Um, I do wish that, uh, it wasn't hanging by the wire, but there's really no way to fix that. Um, because they wanted to put lights in, so they made the wire. But yeah, my mirror has fallen, unfortunately. So this is just a quick update in my car. It'll get fixed soon enough, but yeah, I wanted to show this because... That kind of sucks. I can't, I mean, I can't drive it, you know, until it's fixed and it's supposed to be, oh, it's hot. It's supposed to be up like that. Ow, it's burning me. I'm going to use my other hand and hold this part and show you. See, that's what it looked, uh, no. Wait a minute. That's what, see, what happened was I was adjusting it. Um, so it's not, normally it would be sitting like that, but it's adjusted that way. So, unfortunately, slowly let it hang. Yeah, it's not busted. Um, I mean, it is nice that it's still there, because if it, if it wasn't, you know, if it wasn't attached by the wire, it would just be, like, falling on the floor. So, yeah. Um, at least I don't have to get an aftermarket one, but yeah, I'll make another update once that uh, gets fixed. But for now, uh, my car is not able to be driven um, on the road. I mean, you could drive it in the driveway here around the street, but yeah, that sucks. Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see and follow me on the web, wix.com slash Okay, it's much later out now. It's about 9 p.m. I did uh, end up getting this fixed. Show you here. Oh yeah, you can see it. Look. Uh, yep, mirror's back up. Close this. You can see my interior lights work quite nicely. And I'm going to roll down the window. So you can hear the crickets. Okay, so, basically, um, yeah, it's back up. Yes, it's very small. What happened was, came down. We initially attempted to get the wiring harness out for... This, which it's, let me see, it's up there. Yeah, I have map lights, which open with the door. Um, so we attempted to get that out, we couldn't. So what we did is we bought a kit from AutoZone, I believe it was. 
that little piece on the end, there's a little metal piece in there that you can kind of see. We pulled that out, out of that little bracket, which was hella hard to do. Um, we figured out that the previous owner had this happen before, so he did it the way you're not supposed to, and so it was very hard to get it out. We did. And uh, in that, we uh, basically, we took some glue. First, we mapped out, we put a piece of tape on the other side of the windshield with a marker so we knew where it went. We put the metal piece on with some tape, and then we very carefully slid the mirror back on and very carefully adjusted it. So yeah, I'm not touching it again after this. Um, I tried to get an air freshener on it, which is why it broke. But this is a little addendum. Yes, it is fixed now. So yay, that's a good thing. This is the end of it, end of the video now for real. Oh yeah, and this part is dedicated to Toyota 2003. Here's what the interior of my car looks like at night. It looks quite nice. You can see that lights up in orange there. Um, I'll show you, I can make it brighter. Um, shifter and the gauges, which are green, and then that turns on the interior lights. And then you can dim it all the way down. I tend to keep it about there. And I'll show you on the outside of the car. Lights there. License plate lights. Turn, uh, rear tail lights, and yes, I still have a temp tag. The hazards, which that button breaks off sometimes so you got to be careful um, you can see in this car it's the whole tail light that lights up it's not there's no individual section of it I think the Lumina which had a three spoke sort of it was looked like a Mustang tail light I think that did it individually but you can see how it works there um, I'll show you the front headlights You can see they're decently bright. They're not that bright, but they're all right. Um, and then the turn signals, which are just the inner orange part. I oh, know they're not. I thought there was another part, but no. It's just those. Um, let me think. I'll show you with one. What I'm gonna do roll that down it'll be easier don't want to drain my battery too much so yeah you can see how it works there and then of course um, brights which are now that's the inner two section I'm gonna set my camera on the ground although you probably oh yeah you can kind of see it move it back a little all right watch Low beam, high beam. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And then with just the parking lights on, there's a little indicator on the dash. Just the parking lights, of course, is the orange there. And then these are the same. I think. Hang on, let me see. I'll figure it out. Nope. I think they might be the same. I'm not 100% sure on that. We'd have to figure that out. And then that, which... Let me turn my headlights off. It goes off. But yeah, that's a bonus clip for Toyota 2003, and I just ripped another giant hole in that. So you can see the inside of my car. Good night, everybody.